the Giants, they did a great job on Justin Jefferson. Great job on Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson, in the first quarter, he had five targets. The rest of the game, he had four targets. He had five receptions in the first quarter. The rest of the game, he had two receptions. He had 37 receiving yards in the first quarter. The rest of the game, he had 10 receiving yards. In the first quarter, Justin Jefferson had six yards after catch. The rest of the game, he had one yard after the catch. So we got to get some credit to that Giants defense. That Giants defense was sensational against Justin Jefferson. They did a great job. And we know Justin Jefferson is the best player on this Vikings team. Defensive coordinator Wink Martindale for the Giants, he did a great job with his game plan against Justin Jefferson. Now, Hawkinson stepped up with his 10 receptions, over 100 yards receiving for the Vikings, and so he helped the Vikings move the football. But I thought the job that they did against Justin Jefferson honestly was the biggest difference in the game because as great as Daniel Jones played, the Vikings still had 24 points on the board. They still were in a position to score a touchdown and tie the game up and send this game to overtime. But I thought that Giants defense, they made plays when they had to. They, they, they definitely made plays when they had to. They didn't have any sacks in this game, but I thought they did a great job against Jefferson. And that's one of the recipes on how you beat the Vikings. That's a key. You have to slow down Justin Jefferson. Holding the Vikings to go to only 4 of 10 on third downs, that's impressive for that Giants defense. Very, very impressive. Now, what everyone is talking about in this game, uh, the, the biggest play of the game, this was fourth and eight. The Vikings were at the 48-yard line. They were at their own 48-yard line, down seven points. You need eight yards. Now, Kirk Cousins threw a three-yard pass to Hawkinson, and a lot of fans are like, what the hell was that, Kirk? Like, you need to give your team a chance by – Throwing the ball up and, and, and having someone maybe come down with the football. I agree. But Kirk Cousins is who he is and who he has always been. He's a good quarterback, but he's not a great quarterback. And I thought that was why Kirk Cousins rushed and didn't go through his progressions because Kirk Cousins doesn't have the ability to be a mobile quarterback like other star quarterbacks that we have in the NFL has. And I thought that's why he rushed that pass to Hawkinson because the Giants, they, they on that fourth down play, they got a rush on Kirk Cousins. And as soon as he saw the defender closing in on him, he threw the ball to Hawkinson, honestly, premature. And Hawkinson was nowhere near the first down marker, nowhere near the first down marker. But I, if, you're, if you're Kirk Cousins in that moment, you have to identify where Justin Jefferson is. And even if you just throw the ball up, give Justin Jefferson a chance to catch the football to keep your season alive. You don't throw the ball three yards to Hawkinson and expect him to get a first down. It's fourth and eight. The game is on the line. And the game is on the line. Now, Kirk Cousins, again, he had a good game overall. 31 of 39, 273 passing yards, two touchdowns in this game. Quarterback rating of 112.9. Kirk Cousins played well in this game. But Kirk Cousins is not elite. He's good. He's never been confused with, to be elite. And in that moment, that's why you see now why franchises, they're going after mobile quarterbacks like Josh Allen, like Lamar Jackson, like Patrick Mahomes, like Justin Herbert, because of moments like that fourth and eight play for the Vikings. As soon as Kirk Cousins saw the defender closing in on him, he knew he had to get rid of the football I just think he should have made a better decision and just heaved the ball up, and maybe you get a pass interference call. Maybe you you have one of your players come down with the football, and the Vikings drive continue. But to throw the the out route to Hawkinson was the wrong play on that particular play at that moment in the game. You have to give your team a chance. You got to give your team a chance. But Kirk Cousins was who he's always been. He didn't play bad in this game, but. He didn't make the necessary plays for the Vikings to overcome their deficiencies. Kirk Cousins is a quarterback that needs things around him to be going right. The Vikings have to get better defensively if they want to be a contender in the NFC.